In this video, you're going to learn about what you need to do to complete assignments in your Google Classroom. So when you come into Google Classroom, you typically will find yourself on the Stream tab, which is where your teacher might post some different announcements. And also, if your teacher posts a homework assignment, it will often show up in the Stream as well. And you can actually even click on it and go to it from there. But what I want to point out to you um, is a great feature over on the left hand side which is this upcoming. If your teacher put a due date on an assignment then you will see anything that's upcoming up here. Well you won't see anything. You'll see the the item that's that's due next up here. So I can actually see I have a recipe poem that's due on Wednesday and I can actually just go and click right on this link and go right to the recipe poem. The other thing that I can do, you'll notice this view all. If I click on view all I'll actually see any upcoming assignments that I have right now. And they're in the order in which they're due. So first I have a recipe poem that's due on April 8th. Then I have a math video that's due April 13th and this home learning schedule that's due on April 17th. So let's find out what do I need to do to take care of these assignments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go and just click on the recipe poem. Um, and it's telling me that I haven't attached any work yet. But if I go and I click on view details, then it'll tell me what is this homework assignment about. Um, so here I can see over on the left hand side I can see what the teacher has written in terms of direction. So she said please think of your favorite recipe and construct a poem with it. Oh my goodness what a difficult assignment. Um, over here so if I have questions I can send a private comment to my teacher over here ask her for some clarification if I'm not sure about that. The comments over here in the middle. This is for a comment that might benefit the whole class. So if it's a, a question that maybe everybody would need to know the answer to, um, you would put that in here. This is a, this is this area over here where it says class comments. This is not where you put in your recipe poem though. Where you're going to go to put in your recipe poem is you need to put in and submit your work in this work area over here on the right. So because in this assignment my teacher didn't give me any kind of, she didn't hand anything to me like a template. And I'll show you another example where your teacher might give you an assignment where you'll be filling in something. And in that case, you might see that up here. Um, but there's nothing in here that I that she's already pre-filled out for me. So my only choice is to add or create. So at this point, I would click on add or create. If I had already written up my recipe poem and I had it saved in Google Drive, then I can go and click on Google Drive and I can go find the folder and the file where that recipe poem was stored and just upload it here. But this is the first time I saw anything about this assignment, so I'm going to be creating it from scratch right here. So you can see that I have that ability to click on um, Create New and to click on Google Doc. And for other assignments, maybe I would be putting together um, Google Slides or a drawing or something else. But most of your assignments that you're creating new, if it's an ELA related assignment, are probably going to be in Google Docs that you would create them in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create New. And it'll actually create a Google Doc for me right now where I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create my poem when it comes up. Oh, and you'll actually see here it's showing me a preview and I go and I click on it and now I can go and it has my name at the top and then it says recipe poem. And so I begin to write my ode to lasagna and then I will put in my poem. And I keep putting in and I write until I'm all done. And when I'm all done, I can just click in I can just click on turn in if I'd like. But let's say I'm not done and I need to work on it a little bit more tomorrow or later today. I'm taking a break. You'll notice by the way that I have another tab that's open when I'm in the Google Doc that my Google Classroom is on a separate tab. So I can just click on the X to close out of that tab. And here I am back in my recipe poem. And then when I want to go back in again to keep working on it, I just go and I click on in my work and then I can go and continue with that recipe poem tomorrow until I'm done. And then again, I can turn it in if I'm done 
or if I'm not done, X out. Um, and then if I did get to the point where I was done and I didn't turn it in from within Google Docs, I actually could just click on turn in right here and that would then turn it into my teacher and she would say yay, she would correct it and hand it back or give me comments. Um, so it's telling me when attachment will be submitted and I go ahead and I click on turn in. Um, now one of the things that you might see also when I do turn it in is this unsubmit button. Now that's available to me because I'm submitting it before the due date. So um, I could actually, if I realize, oh, I really want to put in some more stuff, I can unsubmit it, get it back, and then turn it in again. So that's one example of a type of um, assignment. I'm going to go ahead and just to get out of this, to always get back to your main Google Classroom homepage, you can always just go back and click on the title, the name of your Google Classroom, and that will get you back into the main page. So we had started out on the stream and we had looked at upcoming and view all. Um, actually it shows me since I turned in that that um, first assignment it shows me no work due soon. That doesn't mean that I don't have any work because as we know I have some other assignments that if I clicked on view all I would see. Another way that I can see all of my assignments is by going to the classwork tab. So if I go to the classwork tab, I'll see the I'll see all of my assignments categorized. They're underneath the different topics. So I have my math assignment falls under the math, and it shows me the due date. Um, for my recipe poem, it shows me the status right here that I turned it in already. And I can collapse it, by the way, if I just click on it once, it folds it up. Um, and I've got some other things. So I want to show real quick um, with the math video um, another example. So you can see I click on it, it, it expands it so I can see the directions. I can even go in um, from here. I can also go to view assignment and from here I can click on to watch the video that was shared with me. Um, and then you'll notice this is another thing. In this case the teacher is asking me to watch a video and then afterwards to submit a picture um, of the the uh, problem that I did. So I already did the problem and I actually already took a picture of it with my camera and right now that picture is on the desktop of my computer. So another way that I can submit work if I go to add or create um, again if I had it and it was stored in my Google Drive I could submit it from there. In this case it's on my desktop of my computer. So I'm gonna go to file and then I'm going to go to um, select the files. I could also drag it in if I can see it on my desktop. I could just drag it in here. But I'm going to click on select files for my device and I'm going to go to the desktop because I know that's where I put that file and here it is, my math homework. So I'm going to double click on it and then it shows me that it's in here. I could add more files. So if I had more than one page to upload for my homework assignment, I could add more of those. But when I'm done, I click on upload and it will upload for me. And then um, it shows that it's here and then I can just simply turn it in. Um, if I wanted to click on to see a preview, I can see that um, to see how it looks. And again, when I'm done, I click on turn in and it'll say one attachment will be submitted for math video. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that in. Now the last type of assignment that I'm going to show you, I'm going to go back again to that main page uh, and go back to classwork. I'll fold this up again, was uh, where if a teacher shares a template with you, how that looks. So I'm going to go to this home learning schedule assignment. And again, I'm going to click on view assignment at the bottom so I can see the whole thing. And this has more detailed instructions. It's telling me I should look at the home learning schedule and follow the directions in the document, complete the activities. And then once I've completed the activity, I need to summarize what I did in the daily learning log that my teacher shared with me. And then when it's due, I'm going to turn it in to her. So the interesting thing here is my teacher shared an attachment with me here, which is basically part of the instructions, kind of like the, the math video was um, in the last assignment that we looked at. So I can click on this and I can look at the directions 
that my teacher shared with me and read through this and it even has links embedded here. I'm going to just close out of notice by the way that this opened a separate tab and Google Classroom is over here. I'm going to close out of that. Here I am again this is all part of the directions. What I want you to notice here though that's different about the other two assignments. In the other two assignments we just had add or create on the right hand side. In this case my teacher shared a file with me. So my teacher shared a file called Daily Learning Log and it prompts me to make a copy. So I click on make a copy and it basically opens up or it'll basically make my own copy of something that my teacher wanted to share with me. And sometimes it might be, it will probably be a lot more involved than what I'm sharing. What I'm sharing is a simple, simple spreadsheet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, it shows me, here it is. Um, actually, it's not a spreadsheet, it's a, it's a table in a Google Doc. But basically what it does is it already sets up a format that my teacher wants me to do the work in. So my, what my teacher wants me to do is for every day I need to put in the date and every day I need to write down what did I accomplish. Um, and then every day I, from that schedule that she shared with me and every day I need to also add in my reflections about what I accomplish. So this is some, this is a specific format that my teacher wants me to do my work in. And again, this is something, this is an example of an assignment that's more of an ongoing assignment where I probably wouldn't be able to turn it in right away. Although sometimes you might get something that's almost like a worksheet that your teacher has shared with you um, through a Google Doc um, or a Google presentation that you just fill in the blanks and then you turn it in. Um, but if this wasn't something that I could fill out and finish right away, then again, I would just close out of the tab so that I can return to my Google Classroom. So those are some, and then again, when I'm all ready and all done doing all the work, um, and I finished it over time, then I would I could also click and turn in here. Um, I could also, by the way, add some extra um, files, some additional files if I wanted to. So for example, if with this log, my teacher asked me to sh also upload examples of things that I did, I can upload more than one thing to turn in. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, again, the main thing when you are in Google Classroom is it is a tool for your teacher to be able to share information with you either by posting updates in the stream, but primarily it's a way for them to share um, assignments with you where they might give you some instruction um, and give you something that you need to work on and then hand back to them. And again, that you can find on the Classwork tab or in this upcoming area. Um, so hope that was helpful.